Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we are doing a sales update. Ignore the parcels here. I have just uh, packaged up some stuff, so that's why they're there. I thought it's quite fitting really, isn't it? It's got the eBay logo on there and everything. It's quite a good little backdrop, although it's probably a bit random um, in its formation, but still. Anyway, so we're going we're gonna to pull the items up now and we're going to go through these one by one. Ten sales to share with you now. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to put the uh, images up there. There, so I'll have to move over this way a bit. I can only just lean on that now, but we'll do it this way anyway. So first, this vintage EPNS silver plate de Monford or Monford or however you want to say it. Fish cutlery box set, $19.99 plus postage on that. I think this was the one I paid a fiver for at the charity shop. I went into the charity shop, I saw it in there in the little cabinet thing, and I thought, mm, a fiver, should I get it? Shouldn't and should I not? Because normally I pick these up for two quid in the auction job lot, so I used to do anyway. And you know, paying a fiver that's quite a step up from two quid so yeah I thought mm, should I shouldn't I and then I ended up picking it up in the end so I think that was this one and as I say I got 20 quid for that so a fiver into 20 quid next we've got this vintage Nor Norsk Arbide I think it's Arbide small pewter metal bowl plate £13.49 plus post on this this came in a silver plate pewter metalware job lot I will be in profit uh, you know after posting fees and everything uh, this will be pure profit because on that entire job lot, I will be in profit. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a bit of a weird one, this one, actually. It, it doesn't actually look like it's that well made. But then another part of me is saying, actually, that's pretty that's pretty good quality. It's, it's weird because if you actually looked at this to have it in your hand, you'd think, oh, that's, that doesn't look like very good quality. But then when you actually look at it a bit more, you think, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, because it feels like the metal is really good quality. But yeah, so 1349 plus post on that one. Next, vintage studio pottery, yellow inscribed floral design decorative plate, 1999 plus post on this one. I believe we got this from a charity shop for three pound. It might have been two quid, but I'm pretty sure it was three quid. And it was a lovely one, this really nice design on it, really well made. You could tell that this wasn't by an amateur or anyone. This was by someone who knew what they were doing. And uh, yeah, it, it does look really, really good. I mean, it's one of those pieces that you think it's kind of, obviously it's come from just a, a local studio potters or a small studio potters, but they definitely know what they're doing with it essentially. And uh, yeah, 1999 on that from two or three quid. Really, really happy, nice little sale there. Next we've got this vintage white and blue enamel round bread bin, made in Poland, country kitchen. I actually had this up at 29.99 for a while. Now I have actually gone down to 23.99. Um, oh, you know, obviously over time I had gone down to 23.99. Plus postage, of course. I believe I got this for five pound in a charity shop. Quite a while ago, as I say, because I've come down over time. And uh, yeah, five quid into 24 quid not too bad that that's okay so uh, yeah can't complain on that one anyway interesting to see it was made in Poland as well I don't think I've had one of these made in Poland or at least not that I'm aware of you never know because sometimes they don't state where they come from or, or anything so you never know I might have done uh, next vintage the times newspaper weekly edition silver jubilee King George V 1935 £15.96 plus posting on this I am in profit on this after posting fees because the job like came in I paid £10 plus commission for a ton of newspapers, absolutely tons of them. I don't even know how many, maybe a hundred or something, a, a lot. It was a huge box that I got um, and I've been selling these off and I've made a lot of money on these newspapers. Um, so yeah, 15 96 plus postage, as I say, pure profit after postage and fees. Next, vintage Chateau de Chambord or Chambord, Chambord, Chambord. Shambo I don't even know. Uh, framed watercolor landscape painting by C. Ricard or Ricard Ricard Ricard. Oh my French is terrible. Twenty nine ninety nine plus postage. Yeah. Uh, nice little item there. Now, I don't unfortunately remember where I got this or what the price was. I'm thinking, I mean, it'll be in a haul video somewhere, obviously, but I don't expect you guys to go through all my videos and try and find that. And I'm not going to do that for, for sure. So, uh, yeah, I think it was from a charity shop. And I think, I, I definitely know I got this one in a pair with another one. And I want to say maybe it cost me 
three quid each or something, so six quid for the two. Um, so we're going to go for around three quid cost on that. It definitely wouldn't have been more than a fiver. No way I would have paid more than a fiver on this single painting. So about three quid to five quid into uh, 30 quid plus post there, so that's a good one. Next we've got this vintage small round copper and brass lion's head garden planter bucket. I believe I got this from a car boot actually. It's not as big as it seems on the photo there. It looks quite big but there's another photo on there with a tape measure and it's not actually that big when you look at it against the tape measure. I got $19.99 for this plus post. As I say, I think I got this from a car boot. I got a long trough one um, one week and then I think I got this one another week from the car boot. And yeah, I think it was around two or, two or three quid at the car boot, this one. So yeah, two or three quid into $19.99. Can't complain with that one. Next, we've got a vintage grey and blue glazed small water jug. This cost me three quid from a charity shop. Can't remember which one, but I know it cost me three quid. And yeah, it's just a West German ceramics. It's not in that fat lava style. It's kind of a different style, but it is West German ceramics. And yeah, it's just a nice little water jug, actually, with the grapes on the side of it and stuff. I just quite like it. I just think it's pretty cool. I got 12 99 plus post for that one, so that was quite cool. Um, and yeah, nice little sale there. So 12 99 from three quid. Quid. Next, I think this is the, oh no, it's not the final one. We've got this vintage Carlton Ware Rouge Royale uh, Gilt Rim Small Nut Bonbon Dish. This was the one that my mum got when, when I went out charity shopping with my mum and gave her a budget to spend. And she paid, she paid a little bit much for this actually. She paid, but for a first item it was actually pretty good. She paid $3.99 for this and it went for $14.99 plus post. It did take a while to sell. So to be honest, since she was really new to resign in terms of a first pickup, that was really good. I mean, four quid into 15 quid. I mean, really, I would have liked to get it for two or three quid if it was me, but still, four quid is, is still pretty good. So, yeah, four quid into 14.99 plus post on that one. So, I need to actually tell her that sold because I, I think I packaged this up already and I, I don't think I've told her. I don't know why I didn't let her know about that. And then finally, here we've got the last one. I picked these up for four quid at the car boot. They'd be basically, or was it two quid? It was either two quid or four quid, but I was astounded at the price they told me because these. These are uh, Vintage Disney Wonderful World of Knowledge, 20 children's hardback books. And these are big books and they were, they were lined up in a uh, box or a suitcase or something at the front of the store. And I thought, oh, they're probably going to say we want 10 quid for the set of these because there's a lot of books there. And then they just ended up coming out with like 2 quid or 4 quid or whatever it was. It was either 2 quid or 4 quid, I can't remember. Something's making me gravitate more towards 4 quid, so I suppose we'll go for that. But uh, it might have been 2 quid actually. And uh, I know I was very surprised at the price I thought oh I thought we might say about 10 quid or something because sometimes you you think to yourself don't you at car boots you you're walking around you see someone you think oh someone's going to charge more than you think for that but no uh, it's pretty good so I got 19.99 plus post for these I would I would have charged a little bit more for these but a lot of the books were in not incredibly poor condition but they were just a little bit worn a little bit discolored and stuff some of the covers were a little bit discolored so i charged a little bit less than um maybe i might have done if they were in better condition if they were in better condition maybe i would have charged i don't know i don't know what the top end these were going for maybe the top top end of what these were going for is around 30 quid but maybe i would have gone 25 quid something like that but still you know two quid four quid into uh 20 quid i'm still happy with that and it's a good item to get off the shelves as well because big items like that you want off the shelf because you, you imagine there's 20 bucks there it does fill up a shelf it does well not fill up an entire shelf but it fills up a good section of a shelf that so uh it's always good to get bigger items out and that's a good tip actually if you've got bigger items then you know try and get them out quicker if you can and obviously still try and make a decent and profit on them but try and pick up items if you're picking up big items either obviously if they're really expensive items then that's fine anyway because you can keep them in storage for a while and and it warrants it if they're expensive items but um you know if they're not very expensive items but they are larger maybe try and get them out quicker and then it frees up some space but yeah so that is everything for today's sales update just a very quick one there 10 sales in around 10 minutes so i suppose i will leave it there for this one if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel and if you haven't already then please do give it a, a whack a like down below and if you've got any comments questions or queries you know what to do drop them down below and i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys